Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Pearson, your elementary ELL teacher. Today you're going to write a retell of our story, Whistle for Willie by Ezra Jack Keats. This is also from First Grade Journeys Lesson 23. Whistle for Willie is fiction. What does that mean? Fiction books are made up stories. Fiction is not real. It has illustrations, characters, it's pretend, and it has a setting. However, what is the genre or type of literature of Whistle for Willie? Is it fantasy? And fantasy means things that cannot happen. Or is it reality fiction? And reality means things that could or can happen. Well, the genre or type of literature of Whistle for Willie is realistic fiction. What does that mean? Well, reality stories, here are some of our noticings. Realistic fiction means it's a story that's made up, but the story could happen. The places are real. The people could be real. Animals act like animals, like Willie acts like a dog. You might learn facts, and it can be funny. For this lesson, you will need a piece of paper and a pencil, because at the end of the lesson, you're going to challenge yourself, and you're going to answer this question. What happened in the story? Write a retell. So, you, when you write the retell, you're going to talk about what happened at the beginning, and you're going to use the sequence word first, and we're gonna slow down and talk about what happened at the middle of the story, next, and then, and then we're going to talk about what happened at the end of the story or the finish. And we're going to use the sequence word last. All right, so here's our learning target for the lesson. I can write a retell of the story Whistle for Willie using complete sentences. Success criteria. That means how will you know you're successful at writing a retell of the story Whistle for Willie? Well, here are your steps to success. I will, number one, say and match the characters and setting. I will, number two, say and match the lesson or moral of the story, what the character or characters learned. I will, number three, put the retelling pictures in the correct sequence. Number four, I will say, match, and write the sentences to each picture, saying what happened first, next, then, and last. And finally, five, I will check my writing using my writing checklist. So characters, what are the characters? Characters are the people, animals, or objects in a story. Setting. What is the setting? The setting is where the story takes place. Sequence. What is the sequence? The sequence is the order things happen in a story. So you're going to write these sequence words when you write the retell. First, next, last. The, that is related to the beginning of the story, the middle of the story, and the end of the story. So let's do an oral retell for Whistle of Whistle for Willie. So the characters are, who are the characters in the story Whistle for Willie? So I want you to finish this sentence. The characters are Well, the characters are Willie, the boy, and the mom and the dad. Where does the story take place? What is the setting? The setting. The settings are 
the, where does the story take place? There's two places. The settings are the, the street corner, the sidewalk, and Peter, that's the boy, Peter's house or home. So let's put the pictures in the correct sequence first, next, then, last. And then we're going to put, say what happened first. So first, Peter saw a boy who could do what? What did he see a boy do? Well, first, Peter saw a boy who whistled for his dog. Peter felt sad because he couldn't whistle. Next, next what happened? Next, Peter tried to, what did he try to do after that? Well, next, Peter tried to whistle again, but nothing came out. Instead, he began to spin around. Then, Peter kept, what did Peter keep doing until he got better? Then, Peter kept Well, then Peter kept practicing again and again until he was finally able to whistle. Willie heard it and ran to him. So that's why Willie is running in the picture. He heard Peter's whistle. Last, what happened at the end of the story? Last, Peter whistled for... Well, last, Peter whistled for his mother and father. He whistled all the way to the store and back to the house. So in the end, Peter learned that you need to keep, what do you need to keep do, doing in order to get better or to learn something? In the end, Peter learned that you need to keep You need to keep practicing. In the end, Peter learned that you need to keep practicing. All right, it's the end of our review. It's time to challenge yourself. You will need that piece of paper and pencil because you're going to answer this question in writing, what happened in the story? Write a retell. So we're going to use our traffic light colors. Green means go. Start at the beginning of the story, and you are going to use the sequence word first. Then we're going to slow down. You're going to say what happened in the middle of the story, and you're going to use the sequence words next and then. And then we're going to stop, and we're going to say what happened at the end of the story, and you're going to use the sequence word last. But first, I want you to, re to remember that before you write, your sentences. You're going to say each sentence out loud before you write it. And we're going to use the help of my writing checklist. Remember to use finger spaces between each of your words. And when you write, remember to add your punctuation, like your period, your commas, your exclamation marks. And remember to use uppercase or capital letters at the beginning of each of your sentences. And also for names of people or places, important places. And also sound out words that you don't know. So if you come to a word you don't know how to spell, I want you to stretch out the sounds and write the sounds. And my favorite, reread each of my sentences. So to make sure that they make sense. Make sure that you didn't add too many words 
or make sure you added enough words. If you left out a word, make sure you add it. All right, it's time to get writing. What happened in the story, write or retell? And again, we're going to use our traffic colors. Uh, colors. Green means go, let's start at the beginning. So first, Peter wanted, what did Peter want to do at the beginning of the story? First, Peter wanted, so say your sentence. First, Peter wanted, so when you're done saying your sentence, push pause and write your first green sentence. And when you're done, push play to rejoin the lesson. Now we're going to slow down and we're going to talk about what happened in the middle of the story. Next, Peter tried. What did Peter try to do again? Next, Peter tried. So after you say your sentence out loud, push pause and write your first yellow sentence, beginning with next. And when you're done writing your sentence, push play. We're going to slow down again. Then Peter kept, what did Peter keep doing until he got better and learned how to do something? Then Peter kept, after you say your sentence, push pause and write your second yellow sentence. And when you're done writing your second yellow sentence, push play to rejoin the lesson. All right, now we're at the end of our retell, the finish line, and we're going to say last, Peter whistled for, who did Peter whistle for? Last, Peter whistled for, after you say your sentence, write your last sentence, and when you're done writing your last sentence, push play. All right, it's time to check your four sentences, check your work with the writing, my writing checklist. Did you use finger spaces between each of your words? Did you use punctuation? Did you put a period or an exclamation mark at the end of each of your sentence sentences? And did you put a comma where you might need a comma, like after a sequence word? Did you use uppercase letters or capital letters at the beginning of each of your sentences? Did you sound out unknown words, words you didn't already know how to spell? And then my favorite, did you reread each of the four sentences to make sure they made sense and that you didn't leave a word out? Or if you wrote too many words, make sure you only use the words that you need so that it makes sense. So if you need to, push pause and check all four of your sentences with my writing checklist. And when you're done checking your work and making your corrections, push play. All right, it's time to reflect on our learning target. I can write a retell of the story, Whistle for Willie, using complete sentences. Would you give yourself a four? I could teach this lesson. I wrote four complete sentences and I used my writing checklist for each one of them. Or would you give yourself a three? I could help others with this. I wrote three complete sentences and I used my writing checklist. Or would you give yourself a two? I needed some help with this. I wrote two complete sentences and I sometimes use the writing checklist. Or would you give yourself a one? I needed a lot of help with this. I wrote one sentence and I did not use my writing checklist. So write your reflection, four, three, two, and or one. And now you can look at my example. This is what I wrote. And you can compare it with yours. Start, the beginning, first, Peter wanted to be able to whistle. 
he felt sad because he couldn't. And we're going to slow down and talk about what happened in the middle. Next, Peter tried. Next, Peter tried to whistle again, but nothing came out. Instead, he began to spin until he became dizzy. We're going to slow down again and keep talking about what happened in the middle of the story. Then Peter kept practicing until he was finally able to whistle. Willie heard it and ran to him. Now we're going to end the story and talk about what happened last. Last, Peter whistled for his mother and father. He whistled all the way to the store and back to the house. All right, boys and girls, thank you for writing a retell of Whistle for Willie with me. Have a great day.